clap. <laughs> we still got it. Uh. <laughs> we still got it. Happy New Year. Happy, happy, happy. There's no Happy New Year song. I was thinking about it in the bathroom when I was getting ready, and I was like, oh, man, there's no Happy New Year song. No, oh, there's something of something like that somewhere. There's got to be. There's the dancing baby. The, the New Year's baby that's like. No. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, nope. Don't uh, know. All right. Well, here we are. Another year. <laughs> it's 2024. Right? Scary. This year could be scary. But yeah, so we thought it's been a minute and we really should get back to this. You keep going. I'm allowed to be me over here. Come on now. Let's get into it. Shop talk. Shop talk. Let's do a little shop talk with Anna. Like, follow, share, subscribe. And share, 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 share with your friends. Follow us on all our social medias. We have Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. I don't think we use Twitter at all. Well, X. We don't really use that. I know I've got an old account that I keep trying to change to a newer account and trying to do that poses a little bit of a difficulty to me. So we have all those fun things. We're also available on anywhere that you listen to podcasts and on uh, YouTube. So yeah, cool, cool. (laughs) And to you now. Just kidding. What? I was like, I'm back to you. you oh, know, goodness. You? Yes. <laughs> and in today's news, yeah. everything is stupid. True. Everyone's racist. We're all going to die soon. <laughs> and we're especially racist because we're white. And I guess I'm especially racist because I'm white and a girl. Right? Isn't that the thing? How could you actually sit there and gender assume yourself? <laughs> <laughs> right? For real. Dang it. I've been outed already. Yeah. You're going to get a low ESG score. <laughs> or what are those things? Yeah, it's ESG, I think. I have no idea. Oh, well. I don't I don't keep up with that. You're going to need to. I know. But that's what I have you for. <sighs> True. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't even remember the last time we podcast. It's been months. It's been months, and then we had all sorts of craziness happen. We had um, just unexpected life activities. And we Um, have a new grandbaby. It's part of the unexpected life activities. (laughs) Well, that was expected, but... Well, yes, but I'm talking about the whole... the long run. Yeah, just... There was some... If we'd had... The only way to describe what would have happened is it would have been like having a living room with really, really, really bad feng shui. Nothing worked. Everything was a little... Yeah, everything got was... Got a little funky. A little tilted. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we were going to do a podcast like a month ago and then figured, yeah, you know, we might as well just have a redo. Yeah. And start over. And the first of the year, we'll start again and we'll do our once a week thing and we will... Get back at it. Try to continue to be awesome. Yes, that's what we're going to do. I do have another podcast that I'll clip in that we did do a month or so ago with uh, Jeff from Pew's Views, and that was pretty fun. It was um, a little impromptu get to know you thing, and we'll probably do another one of those, maybe from our side the next time, Um, and that was fun. Yeah, it was good. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So what are we going to talk about today, babe? I know you had said something earlier that had sparked my interest and I forgot what it was because then I started talking about stuff and you told me to shut my brain down because there was too much going on. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> true. Well, I was like, hmm. Yeah, because sometimes he's like, oh, this will be a great topic on the to talk about the podcast and then he'll kind of waver into something else and I'm like, oh. Wait. No, okay. Well, part of it was, you know, there's a lot of uh, oh, that people was that do. Green Day. Well, okay. That, that was where kind it spurred of, from. That's where it spurred from, just because, like, no one can leave politics alone. 
everything's polarizing. Everybody's got to talk about it all the time. Like I have been sucked into it into my life because I have a brain and I can see what's going God. wrong with the world. Okay. Right. But um, like everything now is like everyone's racist and everyone's a fascist. And if you're not for whatever, then you're just like the most awful person. And the gaslighting that's going on is so unreal. Yeah. It's like somebody being in a white car and somebody being in a black car screaming at me that they have a black car and that I'm in a white car. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's that seriously. I mean, uh, maybe like bad that. choice of colors for that, but <laughs> just saying like, it's just, it, it is, everything has gotten that reverse upside down stupid that. For real. I mean, I don't know. I think that. For New Year's, can we do anything and just be happy and not talk about politics for a day? I think that's the one thing that's also stupid about America. So America has elections every four years that last for four years every four <laughs> years. Okay, so as soon as this election is over, so true. by the following day, all we're going to talk about is the following election for the next four years. It's like, yeah, that we got to somehow shut that down. Yeah, that is so true. <laughs> It's Isn't it? It's funny. like always election year in America. Yeah. Always. And it, that's to say if the election even happens. There's so many things out there. Like, I was talking about this actually with our youngest. Um, and I, and he's 18 now. And I, and 19? he asked me. Well, he'll be 19 he, in March. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, no, no, wait. I'm like, wait. <laughs> but he asked me like, why does politics always come up? Like, you know what's weird is when we first got together and, like, we didn't really talk about politics because it wasn't so huge in the media. Like, I think that, like, we went about our day. We did this. We did that. Like, it wasn't until, I don't know, when was, what year was it that you lived with your parents when I was in Utah? Oh, so this is the absolute... Like, I'll just come out and say it now. Like, I mean, I think people need to speak the truth and everybody needs to, f like, hear stuff. And it can't always be like, if you don't agree with me, you're a racist. It can't be that. But, like, I legitimately, in 2008, thought that it was a horrible thing that Obama got elected. It had nothing to do with skin color. Um, if you did any history on that gentleman, he was a big socialist. And I don't believe in socialism. And I don't believe that everybody went and died in all the world wars and how America was founded was like, because eventually they wanted to be socialist. That's just not what has happened. Like that shouldn't be that way. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but in 2012 is when I went back to stay at my parents or it was 2011. It was leading up to when Obama was getting reelected. Yes. And that's when I was in AFN and that's when yeah. we had that album and nothing we trust coming out. And it was one of those things where I'm like, well, here you have a guy that could have done so much as a black leader in the black community oh, in yeah. just proving everybody wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, because obviously there's some people out there that were, that would be like, well, I just don't even think that it's a good idea to have a black president, right? Like, just because there's some stupid people in the world. But For sure. what you do if you become the first elected black president is you prove everybody wrong. Like, he should have come in with, like, a Donald Trump attitude and been like, watch me fix everything. But the guy deep down inside hates America and caused more division and racial tension in his eight years as president than any president ever has. Agreed. So that's kind of when everything started to get a little bit off the rails because you could see I've been able to, I mean, I've had conversations with people for years and years and years. And I think it's funny. There's even, People that I watch on YouTube and other podcasters and stuff, and people will be like, I just can't believe it. My eyes were so opened in 2020. Mm -hmm. It took that? Like, really? 
But even so, thank goodness something. <laughs> I mean, yes, no, for sure. But like, that's a huge kick in the balls, is what you needed. Like, yeah. you didn't need somebody to be like, "Hey, turn around and look over there and read that for a minute." It was like, <laughs> like "Bam!" Right in the dick. Like this. <laughs> Isn't it good? Like that Scooby Doo. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so. And. For real. <laughs> So, no, we were, wow. what I was getting at, though, is I said, yeah, we, you know, we didn't really do whole politics when uh, dad lived with Grammy and Bapa for a little while. It became more prevalent, like it was really pushed more in the media when Obama's second term and like all the, you know, conspiracy things started and you could tell that the media was starting to really lean into the whole liberal thinking and it just got so, and if you weren't paying attention, it just all of a sudden one day you're like, well, that's weird. Media is not, um, it's all bias now. There's no, we're just reporting the news. Yeah, there's no actual journalism. Yeah. But, and then we started to see it with teachers at school. And I think we've talked about that before where they were saying, Oh, you need to vote for Obama. Like, wait a minute. Like what happened to, <laughs> we get to choose. Like that's not. Well, and that's the thing too, is the indoctrination in schools, how mm -hmm. the amount of progression that is actually regression that has been in the United States since 2008 is ridiculous. Um, right. Basically, um, I mean, people could be like, oh, it got better when Trump was elected and whatever. Okay, fine. Like the, the economy was better and whatever, right? Like sure. there was thing, <laughs> there were things that were better, but yeah. in general, our whole entire, uh, political situation is just proven that everybody's evil on both sides of the aisle. Our government is 110% corrupt. We should all stop paying federal taxes. Taxes the, are bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. the federal government is uh, got themselves dug in such a deep hole, and the way that the Constitution was written, I think that probably most of the people that work in Congress, if it would have been up to the founding fathers, would be hanged for treason because they've all been part of the corrupt situation that has to do with them gaining monetary value for themselves and not really giving a shit about the country. Yeah. And pretending to say, oh, this side's doing this, and then the other side being like, but the other side's doing that, and then the Republicans sit there and they'll talk a big game sometimes and then they do nothing. Absolutely nothing. They've done nothing for the, like the last 20 years, at least 20 years. For sure. Um, nothing of any substance. Um, but there needs to be... Um, a complete overhaul of our federal government. I don't believe that, um, like, at this point, we should almost just disband our military and have each there state should, have its own we should completely military. Wipe the slate clean. I, it's just really sad. And like you said, with schools and stuff, it all kind of started with we're taking the Pledge of Allegiance away, we're taking, you know, Prayer out of school. Well, prayer and then handwriting and getting rid of some history or rewriting history. Like, just what's happening right now? <laughs> like, so many things that kids are like, well, I never learned that in school. And I'm like, what do you mean? Well, yeah, and people that don't learn history are damned to repeat it. And we're about to do that currently. And it's like, no one actually got taught in history like what happened with Nazi Germany and all the craziness that is probably, you know, the worst like genocide to a population ever. Yeah. <laughs> well, and like, the, hmm. you know, I mean, everything that's happened in the past, just in the past three years, you know, like 2019, 2020, 20, like, it's just, if you look back on it, unless something's wrong with you, <laughs> there's no way you don't look back on it and go, that doesn't seem right. Like, no. Like, 
the beginning of it and the whole George Floyd thing, right? Like at first you're like, oh my gosh, that's horrible. This happened and these police officers and da da da. But then you start looking at it, like lit really looking at it and going, wait, George Floyd was not the greatest guy on the world. Of course, did he deserve to die? No. Was it the policeman's fault? No. Were they trained to do what they were trained to, or what they were doing? Absolutely. Did, but their chief lied and said, no, we never trained that, which was complete BS. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you've, if you've had a chance to watch or hear about, um, the fall of, what is it? Minnesota? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Wow. Minneapolis, <laughs> Minnesota. But anyway, fall of Minneapolis, I'll link it, um, in our description down below. It is very eye opening and it really was a turning point of what happened and what kind of where we're at now. Well, there was yet yeah, that and, you know, everything just comes down to that they want to, the powers that be, whoever they are, wherever they are. Um, Which we don't know. <laughs> want to um, establish racial division. They want anybody who says, oh, well, if you don't want, you know, people coming in from other countries because you're racist and you hate them and whatever. It's kind of like, well, really? Are you like paying attention to what's going on? Like... Anybody that can go through the process correctly, I have no problem with. Nobody does. But should a country have a really big issue with a whole bunch of military-aged boys and men showing up at our border without women and children? Right. In hordes now. Mm -hmm. Like, literal thousands and thousands and thousands. And you want to say... Oh, I'll be nice to them. I'm sorry. There's probably a lot more of them that want to come here and do harm than you think. And if you want to keep your head buried in the sand, then, I mean, you'll definitely probably end up getting what you deserve at some point. But, you know, you should open your eyes. And that's the thing is part of our federal government's um, deal that they're supposed to do is to provide Protect a safe us. and secure border. Yeah. Like, constitutionally, they have to. But... They're not, but where's anybody in Congress going, oh, it's clearly written on this old-ass piece of paper, <laughs> but this old-ass piece of paper still means something because we're going to follow it. Like, that's the reason that it doesn't anymore is because they don't follow it, but it would be like, you either fix this or you're going to have to go meet Jesus. Or something like <laughs> weren't it? Weren't you saying like it's an act of treason? It is. Like it's... our governor here that the borders were left open, and then she didn't do anything about it. Like, oh my gosh, it's just a whole thing. Like she should be. Well, when you have out like, of office, when I don't you know. Have Abbott like... in Texas, going now we're just we're doing our thing and we're making it to where police can stop people and be like hey pretty sure that you got over here illegally they're trying to turn it into a big race thing oh now you're just going to see people and you're going to pull them over and so now the federal government is like we're going to sue you people for trying to protect your border so our federal government is going to sue one of our states because they're trying to keep illegal aliens not not immigrants, not people in the middle of crisis. I mean, yes, there's a crisis at the border, mm -hmm. but it is not necessarily uh, people fleeing for the reasons that the news is making it out to be. And then you have, uh, you heard that uh, John Schneider, mm -hmm. I believe that's his name, right? Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he called out uh, um, Joe Biden for that on X. And said him and Hunter should be hanged for it. Or him and Kamala Harris. Yeah, for now. Or all three of them. Or I don't know. He put some tweet out there. Yeah. And like, oh, now they're having know? the Secret Service investigate John Schneider. Like, whatever happened when that one crazy freaking, uh, um, oh, what was that lady's name? She's a comedian, but she did some stuff Roseanne. trying to, like, um, do Roseanne? this painting about, huh? Roseanne? No, not oh. Roseanne. 
Yes. She did some painting about the death of Trump. And then even t- uh, Snoop Dogg did some video with like some gun like showing to kill Trump. Like when he was president, no one cared. All Everybody in the media laughed and clapped. One person says one thing now about Joe Biden, and Joe Biden wouldn't even know if you're talking about him. <laughs> right? And they're like, oh, my gosh, we're going to investigate you. It was like there's a dude, um, and it, he was interviewed by Tucker Carlson. I watched this a couple months ago. There was a guy that did a tweet back in, like, when Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump were going against each other for president. And uh, the day after Biden, or two days after Biden got inaugurated, like, the people from Hillary Clinton's team, like, went after this guy, and they're trying to federally indict him, and he's facing 10 years in prison for writing a funny tweet making fun of Hillary Clinton. Dude, that's crazy. Like, what happened to (laughs) that? Like, comedians are... that was like their bread and butter like this was just some dude that and he was like he didn't even make this meme up he saw it and reposted it (laughs) wow like so now there's gotta be something else he's doing they're scared of well i mean anytime that you're on like anytime in history when you're the side that is full-blown speech suppression and trying to arrest everybody Mm -hmm. for like the silliest things uh, you're not on the correct side of history. I'm sorry. Well, There's... not even the silliest things. Like you look at all the indictments with Trump. Like why wouldn't they have tried to indict him way long ago? Why did they wait till now? Well, no, I was watching some analyst um, even a couple weeks ago said, you know, it'd be different if Trump had like one or two indictments. Yeah. But the fact that it's like up to 70 or something, It's insane. That's why he's like, you know it's all crap. Yeah. Because why try so hard? Like, for real. Like, And it's so sad. I mean, thank God I would hate to be Trump or anyone in his family just for the ridicule. Like, to live like that every day would be horrible. But it's just so crazy. The whole thing is like, dude. No, this is but they all loved him previous to that. Like when he did the, what was the show he did? The Apprentice. The Apprentice. And then he was with all those celebrities. And there's a ton of pictures you can find of him and celebrities being chummy and whatever. And then it's like all of a sudden like, oh, he's running Republican ticket. Like, I don't know. It's because this is why. This is why. Well, no. It's still the thing. No one, everyone's, well, everybody's still talking about it, but not as much. But so when Jeffrey Epstein offed himself, even though he, comes got, he, up got, now and then he got suicided, well, you have the Maxwell chick. Yeah. Um, in prison. Mm-hmm. In some resort prison. <laughs> right? Some federal prison. Yeah. Okay. Watching Netflix and chilling. She's in the you mini can, Largo. You can now go to freaking jail and Netflix and chill, dude. <laughs> I don't know about the, well, the chill okay. part. Whatever, but um. But I know they can so Instagram. So they stuff. can't. They still don't have a list. No, there's a list. It's just all been redacted. <sighs> well, no, but who's on that list, dude? Just but the flight the thing logs. Is, is like the some of it, logs. Some of it, like if you can look up and look at some of the documents and the court documents or whatever, and they'll like have all these names redacted, like crossed out and whatever, but then certain names, like it'll just say Clinton or it'll say Trump. But it it's so redacted, you can't even tell what's going on in that. It's like, really? And... I don't know. I. It's because, quite honestly, the world is being taken over by pure evil. Oh, and when for sure. the hearts of men become this evil and everything is about money and power, mm-hmm. um, it's like when people go, oh, well, see, there can't be a God or there can't be whatever because, like, 
if there was a God, he wouldn't let this happen. Mm, no, because in the Bible it says, if you do this, this is going to happen. Yeah. But if you watch history and whatever, it's almost like people have read it and been like, I'm going to prove it wrong. <laughs> I'm going to go against everything the Bible says. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to prove you all wrong. It's like and the closer and closer and closer it gets. Yeah. It's like we are. I guess that's why they say, you know, the children of God, we act like little kids. Yeah. Do not stick your finger in the light socket. Mm -hmm. Lick it first. Lick it first. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, I told you. <laughs> For real. I do think like, a lot of people push it like, well, what was, what's he going to do? If there was a God, he'd do something. If there was that, he wouldn't let this person perish or this person do this or no, he's letting you play it out. Like that's just like you do with your own kids. Yeah. Like you're going to go out and ride your bike. You're taking a chance. You're going to teach them how to drive a car. You're taking a chance. You're going to tell them they can go out and do things. You're taking it all of it. That's, yeah. That's what it's this the same is. thing when you tell your kids don't smoke weed, and three or four months later you catch them and you're like, dude, really? Told you not to do that. Told you not to do that. <laughs> I won't do it anymore. A couple weeks later, dude, really? really? Again, yeah. Mm, we're just like little but kids. But no, it's legal, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Just the everybody. I just hope more people wake up and realize what's going on and you know the i do not believe that um like russia's right in any way for um invading ukraine and doing what they're doing right uh, but i will say this i do truly believe that um all the money that we've given to ukraine is like one of the biggest money laundering schemes in the history of the world and the amount of money that our federal government has printed since 2020 is like they've printed more money since 2020 than there was money before 2020, I believe is what it is. It's something like that. It, like it's an apostrophe, like it is an impossible number. It is absolutely ridiculous. And um, the devaluation of that currently is uh, not cool. Mm -hmm. So, what we were going to also talk about was that uh, we weren't going to, like, I'll sit here and talk crap about people all day for doing stupid shit, <laughs> right? But right. I'm not going to sit around and, like, fear monger or fear porn people and be like, it's going to be the end of the world. You need to light your hair on fire and run down the street and look like a crazy person. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I will say you might want to have some stuff laying around that is going to keep you prepared so that you can have water and food and stuff like that because yeah. I personally believe in all that. And if you believe in anything <laughs> where anybody says, oh, they're pre-warning you on certain things and whatever, we may not be able to warn you either because it could be true that they're going to be a whole cyber attack. So yeah, buy some maps. Right. Paper Cause... maps. <laughs> We've all if you been... don't know how to read a paper map, learn how to. Yeah, for sure. Like there's certain things uh, like books you might want to buy. So that if there is no internet and you actually don't know how to plant any food, that you have a book that shows you how to do that. <laughs> uh, Farmer's Almanac's always I'm good. I'm just saying there's things that if you don't have your phone one day or for a week or say for even a month, the whole month, no internet, no phones, no nothing, right? How many people be losing their minds? Yeah. Can you imagine living in a city, being stuck in an apartment, and it's like that? When that's really like your whole only yeah, your only social means of outlet. like you can't. It. I wouldn't want to just be like, well, this sucks, and I have no phone and no internet. I'm gonna go outside and just walk around. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be safe. You actually, have to meet people. <laughs> and probably most of them would be super sketchy. Yeah, well, like it would turn into Mad Max in in big downtown cities in yeah, like three days. It would probably be a little crazy. And all the cops and all of everybody would be like, uh, <clears throat> "Peace, I've got other stuff that I need to all go right, do to because uh, I got a family and stuff." And this got a little bit. Well, and if super you live Western. in big cities now, anyways, the cop, the 
force, the police force, has gone down so low anyways that... But that's by design. I know that, but they wouldn't be able to help if something happened. But that's what I mean. They've also, they've lowered the numbers so much that as soon as anything like that would happen, like the police would automatically feel so overwhelmed. Yeah. I wouldn't want to stand up and try to... For sure. Like, I mean, you'd be crazy, and there might be a few that actually are like, nope, this is my job, and I'm going to do whatever I need to do to try to help people. But most people, and like I said, I wouldn't even be judging them, uh, would be like, "Uh, no, there's like a (laughs) hundred of us and like three million of them, and I think that we're going to leave now. (laughs) Yeah. So there's a ton of things that like we've talked about and that we'd like to talk about. So definitely I'd like to dig deeper at one point with the whole Babylon thing. Oh, 100%. That would be a good one. And then even if we wanted to dive into the prequilled things that are going on right now as far as... Oh, with the movies coming out? That's the thing, too, is, you know, you get the Obamas being executive producers on... No one left behind. Are they or... both executive producers? We'll have to look uh, into that. It says Michelle and Obama. But yeah, there's or... a whole thing on that that I'd like to <laughs> talk about. Obama. We have not watched it yet, <laughs> but it's like... I... I'm not going to. See, and I'm on the fence on it because I, I want to be knowledgeable enough to talk about it, but I don't want to give to it, if that makes sense. No, it's not even that. It's... Uh... I... Hmm... How do I say this? Well, I mean, I do this. Okay. So for a very <laughs> long time, I've been somebody, I think, that would kind of feed on some of that stuff and be like, oh, I personally believe that it is watching some of that stuff and maybe becoming obsessed or having it get into your head to where you're constantly thinking about Oh my gosh, I wonder what's going to happen. Oh my gosh, I can't believe what's going to what could happen. Oh my gosh, if that did happen like I mean, yes, be prepared, right? Be prepared. But sure. people shouldn't obsess over that stuff. And I think that there's well, so much kind of weird evil stuff that you could put into your head and if you get a big enough group of people kind of constantly obsessing over it that it could manifest into something that isn't really good for the world. Mm-hmm. For sure. But you have the ability to watch some stuff like that and then sometimes not get annoyed and angry. And oh, I sometimes I'm don't have that 100%. ability. 100%. Like, because you do listen to more stuff, I think, and it's just a difference of the way you perceive things and, like, the way that your brain works. I'm able to be like, you know, whatever. Like... You know, we watch certain things and you'll be like, oh, why do they have to do that to this show? And I'm like, you know, they did those things a hun- 10 years ago with a whole different reason. And now, like, what were we watching? But then you look back at stuff like we watched a portion of Dazed and Confused last night. And I've actually never seen that movie, which I was surprised. It's a really new movie. Yeah. <laughs> When, when did that movie come out? 1993. 1993. And it's <laughs> and it's supposed to be like the 70s or something, yeah, it's 1976. Right? But they're all like smoking weed. You know, I mean, they're teenagers and whatever. And it's funny because I'm like, you know, I, our parents had to have been like, you can't watch that movie. Well, no, that's <laughs> what I'm saying, though, is the the way that everything in society has become like, but we didn't look, my point is, we didn't look at that movie and be like, oh, this is horrible. But now, as you're older, if that movie came out as a newer movie, you'd be like, this is awful. Why would they do that? Why would they portray it that way? I still think it's one of the greatest movies. It, there's <laughs> no cell phones in it. There's not one <laughs> that is, cell phone. I get that. Okay? Which like, is what would happen. It's if... nostalgic for me to watch movies before cell phones. Like. <laughs> You know how many cell phones I wanted to shove up people's butts? Oh, I know. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm one of those people. I mean, they would have become like slot machines for days. It's like dun, this, dun, 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 it's dun, this dun, love dun. hate because obviously we run social medias where, you know. I'm you? very bad at it. I'm, I, I will it. absolutely admit to being bad at it. 
I have a. He's great at doing all the recording stuff and setting that all up and downloading it for me. And then I work on the editing part. But as far as like Instagram, Twitter, or Twitter, why do I keep saying that? TikTok, that's. You like watching it, but you don't like editing it as much. No, I, I don't know. I just sometimes I get caught up in what I'm doing and I forget like, oh, if somebody might want to watch me do this. <laughs> yeah. But I think I need to, I will start doing more videos out here on the property of, uh, you know, the way that we originally intended. Uh, we just have had a lot of stuff going on. I've yeah. gotten all and out then of we're, sorts I'm with things. I'm tossing around the idea of we we do live in our RV, right? But we live stationary on our property and we are planning to erect our home and get all that built and get that all on video and whatever. So I'm tossing around the idea because it's a new year of changing our social media name from the Hills on Wheels to a little tilted farm because we're not moving anymore. So we are stationary. I am fully aware of this. <laughs> but that's that's my <laughs> because so everything on the farm has a little smidge of a tilt to it. So our initial thought is our house is gonna have a one uh single slope roof. Thank you. A one slope. A single slope roof. Our <laughs> pump house has that and then when TJ put up the fencing around the garden, the gate, entry gate kind of has a little tilt and so um, and i it was one of the things and i know that somebody on social me media might be like really they repurposed that fence and that thing looks crooked because it's totally crooked but um i went through and uh it was originally welded that way and i would have <laughs> had to go through a great deal of pain to like try to heat some of it up and do some things to try to even twerk it so that i could cut off one end and make it square. So I kind of mocked it up the way it was and asked her like, are you cool with this? Cause it's going to look like burnt. And she said, it's, I love it. I'm like, fantastic. Exactly this is easier for like me. Everything else, like <laughs> single slope, a little tilted. And it's what we are a little tilted. Yeah. Yeah. A little tilted. <laughs> and so people might say, Oh, you're spelling it wrong, but, we're spelling because of the it. L's. The L's. Oh, dude, it kind of makes me go nuts. Does it? Oh. But the T makes an H, I L, and we're the hills. So I. We're till, did. <laughs> oh God, you're gonna have to play this explanation for everybody so that they're not like, "Yep, there's some people that live on some property in the middle of nowhere in Arizona, don't know how to spell." <laughs> it's like, hey, <laughs> we live on our property. Like, they must be MAGA. <laughs> they can't spell <laughs> bunch of racists <laughs> all their shit's gonna fall over <laughs> everything's crooked I mean... <laughs> oh my gosh well, you know horrible I horrible know. it's cool it is even bad <laughs> bad press is good press <laughs> i'm fine with that bring it on people i don't know how to spell oh goodness Oh, Gunner, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a lot that we'd like to talk about. Faux show. Oh, we'll get into most stuff, but today is New Year's Day, and I think that we have plans, and... We do. Yeah, well, I mean, I know that we do, but I'm just saying. <laughs> This is a prequel for what's to come. That's right. And we haven't gotten funnier. We haven't gotten less funny. But some of us have gotten cuter. Wow. <laughs> the dog. I'm talking about the dog. Look at him. He's adorbs. <laughs> the dog. All right. Well, this was fun. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, it's been a minute. It's been a long minute. Yep. All right, you guys. We will see you next week. Next time. Happy New Year. Bye.
And before you go, visit us on our social medias at linktree backslash the hills on wheels, L I N K T R dot E E backslash the hills on wheels, no spaces. <laughs>